Good afternoon. This is Pat Walker at MissionWinners.com. It is Thursday, December 14th. Can you believe it? 12, 14, 17. Kind of rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Anyway, 12, 14, 17. And we had a great, great commentary today in the Mission Winner site talking about something that's called the uptick rule. I was a broker. I was an investments advisor from 1986 all the way through till 2000 and had to take the Series 7 test but was also in the throes of it as far as managing money and knowing the rules and the regulations. I got out of it in 2000 and became a private investor and that's what I did and supported a family of six with no commissions or fees coming in. So I got real serious. I had to get really serious about it. But that's not the point here. This is a historical lesson for you, but it's things that you need to know. Back in the 1920s, you can say, well, that's not relevant. No, it's very relevant to you today. Back in the 1920s, there were what were called bear raids. There were powerful, powerful men and syndicates that would pool together and say, we're going to get together and we're going to drive down the price of a stock. We're going to start selling it short. Now, what is selling short? Selling short is selling something you don't own, and if it drops in price, you buy it back at a lower price and make a profit. Here's an analogy. You sell something for $80 a share, and it drops to 70 and you buy it back at 70 well, you sold it for 80, you buy it back for 70, you make a 10 point profit. That's called selling short. Okay? Now, what happened was this powerful individuals got together and started ganging up on stocks and selling them, driving them down huge in price. Back in, you may find this hard to believe. But back in the 1920s, late 1920s, there were stocks that would fall 100 points in a day. And you could say, well, gosh, I didn't know there were stocks that, that were high, that high price. Yeah, there were some railroad stocks that were. They would plummet. They would just keep selling them and selling them and selling them short. Selling short. And then they'd buy them back and make their money. Selling short. Those were called bear raids. Well, here's what happened. It really accentuated and exaggerated itself in the crash of 1929, where stocks fell. And by the way, the stock market crash did not cause the depression of 1929. And if you want a history lesson on that, I can give it to you if you want. It did not. The stock market plummeted. It was precipitated by bear raids dramatic selling of stocks short, selling a stock short and buying it back at a lower price. Well, the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, studied this and they came out with two laws or acts, the Securities and Exchange Act of 1933 and the Securities and Exchange Act of 1934, SEC Act of 33 and 34. Those two acts had a very important rule put in them. That was a law. It was called the uptick rule. And what it said was this. If you want to sell a stock short, somebody has to buy it before you can sell it short. There needs to be what's called an uptick. An uptick. Before then, I could sell a stock for $42 a share and it drops to 41 and 7 eighths. You could sell it for $41 and 80 cents a share. Somebody else could sell it for $41 and 70 cents a share. And we could just keep selling and selling it and selling it all the way down to $32. Just sell a tar out of it. Just blast it. And then buy it back and make our money. The SEC said, we're not going to do that anymore. If you want to sell a stock short, there has to be an uptick. Somebody has to buy it and have it push up a little bit in price before you can sell it short. 
That is the uptick rule, and it prevents bear raids. And it provided for a more neat and orderly market. Well, folks, in 2008, they eliminated the uptick rule. It's not there anymore. So what that means is this. I can sell a stock short. You can sell a stock short. We can form a syndicate and work together and literally drive a stock down in price. And that's what's happening now. There are bear raids, many bear raids in stocks, not many as M-A-N-Y, but M-I-N-I. Many are small bear raids in stocks all the time. I'm going to show you one right here. Baidu, right there. Drops in price on volume. Goes up a little bit, and then they knock the tar out of it. Some of this is selling, okay? But some of this is selling short. Just taking it down in price, and this is just on a 10-minute chart. That's how you can do it, or a 5-minute chart. That's how you can do it. You will see this in stocks. After 2008, it became more prevalent where stocks can have many flash crashes during the day. And what is it? It can be people selling, and it can also be people selling short because they don't need an uptick anymore. You need to be aware of it. Now, am I saying, oh gosh, that means you can't invest? Good Lord, no. You keep on doing it. You can't be afraid of your own shadow. But knowledge is important. Knowledge is power. And you need to know about the elimination of the uptick rule. So when you see a stock just get splashed really hard and fast, that's because there's no uptick rule anymore and there's people shorting it. And that's what it is. So I hope that helps you just to give you a little bit of education. And again, that's the elimination of the uptick rule that happened in 2008. And I hope that helps you.